I'm John Schuster with the John Schuster Group of Coldwell Banker Burnett. Thanks for tuning in to our video blog. Now before we get started, I want to draw your attention to a couple of links on our blog. Now if you're thinking of selling your home and would like a free online evaluation, click on the link below. Or if you're looking to shop for homes and want to view all the MLS in the Twin Cities and surrounding areas, click on the link here. Now back to the topic of the day. What can I do to increase the value of my home? This is great because this question came from one of our last videos. Dan reached out to us and, and asked us this same question. So if you have any questions out there about real estate, please reach out to us. We'd love to cover it in a future video. So coming down, our goal is to maximize the equity for all of our sellers and to do so to make sure you're not leaving any money on the table. The first question is, is your home stuck back in the 80s or 70s or mid-century or before? There's some easy equity updates you can do when bringing your home to the market to truly maximize value. First one we see is, do you have old wallpaper? The wallpaper, uh, old wallpaper has got to come down. The buyers of today typically do not like it. They want to see fresh, neutral colors throughout. So fresh paint can come, is a great idea to update your home. The hot color that we're seeing right now, it's called grayish. It's a mixture of gray and beige, and they have different tones, lighter and darker, depending on what the room asks for. Flooring is also a big one. If you've got nappy or old carpet or carpet that's frayed or dirty, we need to get some new carpet in there. Same thing with your hardwood floors. If they need to be buffed or fully sanded and sealed, we need to take a look at that in addition to old or outdated vinyl. Now, the other thing we look at when we do a walkthrough is deferred maintenance, looking at both inside and outside. Windows is a major issue. A lot of times as houses breathe a little bit, some water can drip down to the bottom sill plate of a window and you can see some discoloration. A lot of times if the window isn't too far gone, you can sand and reseal that or repolyurethane that to make it look great. Uh, same thing if there's any minor plumbing leaks or exterior peeling paint. Same thing with your mechanicals. All buyers we tell during an inspection period are going to be looking for safety, structure, or mechanical issues. If you have a furnace and it hasn't been tuned up in the last five years, we're going to recommend you get that done before you bring it to the market. Have an HVAC expert come out, take a look at it, do a tune-up and a safety check, and make sure before they leave the house they put a sticker on that furnace with a current date knowing that they completed that inspection. And that's going to be good for the buyer coming through and the buyer's inspector. And remember, the buyer is is likely going to do an inspection and you just do not want to present your house with any deferred maintenance. Other ways to bring your house into the 21st century is to remove all that polished brass. Nobody wants it. There's a new version of brass that's kind of coming out, but the old polished brass you see has got to go. Same thing with outdated lighting fixtures. You'd be amazed at Home Depot or Menards or Lowell's what you can get uh, for a few bucks and have an electrician come out and install new lighting fixtures. It's going to make your house show great. From there, there's some more glorious updates we can go into with kitchens and bathrooms. But before you go too far doing that, please reach out to a licensed real estate agent that knows what they're doing to have them stop out and do a walkthrough to give you recommendations on what you can do in your home to make it most marketable. And remember to pull all appropriate permits as necessary. We actually love to meet with our sellers when you're about three to six months out so we can do a walk through your home put together a punch list and give you ideas of things you can do over that time frame to maximize equity. And obviously when you give us a call, there's no obligation and no cost to do this. Again, if you're, if you're thinking of selling your home, please reach out to us by logging on to johnschustergroup.com, clicking on the link here for sellers. We'd love to stop out. Feel free to reach us through that platform or one of our social platforms on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, or just give us a call at 952-333-SOLD. Thanks so much for watching our video blog, and, and have a good day.